No executives woke up one day and said, I want to censor free speech. I want to put a rainbow in my bio. And I'm going to talk about environmental justice issues. A video on Behizzi's channel just blew my mind. You, you have to check out this channel on Locals. He brings up stories that the mainstream media never touch. I had no idea that Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost had brought a lawsuit against Google wanting it classified as either a public utility or a common carrier. And on Behizzi's channel, he goes into so much detail and breaks it down in a way that I could understand it because I don't know these legal definitions too well. But what's critically important about this case, Judge James Shuck, while he dismissed the portion of the lawsuit that classifies Google as a public utility, he's allowing the part of the lawsuit that classifies it as a common carrier to go forward. I didn't really understand why this is important, but in this video on Behizzi's channel, he breaks it down he explains that if Google is classified as a common carrier, it's subject to local regulation. And as Google owns YouTube, and YouTube decided to annihilate Behizzi's channel due to questioning events in 2020, which shall remain nameless because I don't want another channel strike, thank you very much. This is really huge news. I want to show you a clip from his video. And I would highly recommend supporting him on Locals for five bucks a month so he can keep doing this incredible work that benefits all of us. You can also watch his videos on Rumble. But Behege, what's the difference between a public utility and a common carrier? A privately owned and operated business whose services are so essential to the public as to justify the grant of special franchises for the use of public property or of the right of eminent domain, in consideration of which the owners must serve all persons who apply without discrimination. It is always a virtual monopoly. Common carriers would be like the train company, or the company that built the rails for the trains. Because it was so obvious to everyone that they were serving an essential thing to society with their rails and trains, the government basically decided, well, you have to serve everyone now. And thereby, we had common carriers regulations. The common carrier part is what Judge James Shulk is letting go forward with this case against Google. And I believe this would mean that they would be regulated against discrimination of conservatives like you and I. Essentially, there's almost no difference between a common carrier and a public utility. A public utility might just mean that the company has a little bit more control of what they want to do, whereas a common carrier would imply that they have to carry everything. The best definition of a common carrier is any company engaged in the transport of people or goods for profit. That would be a common carrier. The attorney general is absolutely comfortable with either delegation. A common carrier delegation would mean more government regulation. A public utility regulation would mean the platform has a little bit more say, but the government still has the ability to regulate. Either delegation works for me. <laughs> I'm the one that's going to be free. The judge has already said, well, Google is admitting that they're the biggest search engine in the world. But do they have so much market share that we have to think they're a common carrier? The law must evolve with technology. <laughs> have you ever wondered why companies like Google continue to censor you? Have you wondered to yourself, why do they keep worshipping sin in the month of June. Well, late yes, I've wondered that quite often. I've wondered that especially after I got my first channel strike. Thank you very much. The first thing we have to understand is that these platforms were forced to be woke. No executives woke up one day and said, I want to censor free speech. I want to put a rainbow in my bio. And I'm going to talk about environmental justice issues. They were forced into these habits by institutional investors. So if, for example, the courts declare that these platforms are common carrier, it's essentially going to stop their business model. Companies like Google, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Reddit, these big social media platforms barring TikTok started as wanting to open the internet to people. Maybe not Zuckerberg. He referred to his users as dumb F-words. Twitter, for example, wanted to be a public town square where anyone can have conversations about anything without fear of being censored. But along the way, as these companies got bigger and bigger, had more ambitions to have their products in front of your face and wanted to establish their own foot 
foothold on the internet. They knew they needed money, and money doesn't come cheap, ladies and gentlemen. So in the last 10 to 15 years, a lot of these companies went public. Before that, they got money, but going public meant they would get a lot of money. And this is where the institutional backers came in. Investment firms like BlackRock and Vanguard wanted a piece of the pie, so they poured billions and billions of dollars into these companies. And these companies are like, yeah, we like money. How else is Google supposed to fund their project to build a self-driving car? How else are they supposed to start a new startup within a giant corporation, hire 50,000 people to work on something that's not even out yet and making profit for them. So this money is crucial. But this money from these backers comes with strings attached. For reasons unknown, these institutional backers really want these companies they're backing and giving money to to adhere to these social justice values, better known as ESG scores environmental, social, and governance. These platforms must engage in woke culture in order to keep the money they have. So they have a gun to their head to keep acting woke. The woker you are, the higher your ESG score is. Okay, so this makes so much sense. It's all about the Benjamins. I really appreciate all the effort he puts into researching all of this and making these nice, concise videos. He's bordering on genius. I could never present this much information in this short of a span. A man like this only comes around once in a generation. The scariest part of all of this is when he describes China's involvement in all of this investment in big tech. Now do you see why this ruling is so critically important? If Google is classified as a common carrier, then regulation at the local level can take effect. This one video has provided me with more information than watching a week's worth of Fox News. So definitely check out Behizzi's channel on Locals.com and consider supporting him for five bucks a month. I think it's well worth it. Or you can also watch his videos on Rumble.com. If you like this video, give it a like, consider subscribing for more news and reviews, and God bless. Mm -hmm.